जय श्री राम आई वॉन्ट टू कवर द फ्यू थिंग्स ऑन एस्ट्रोलॉजी इन टर्म्स ऑफ द परस्पेक्टिव बिकॉज दीज आर नॉट टोल्ड एंड और कम्युनिकेटेड इट जस्ट हैज बिन गोइंग ऑन पीपल हैव देयर ओन नोशंस और रॉन्ग नोशंस about astrology uh, and all that so uh first thing is that uh, these when we say uh, this graha is uh, doing this or that the grahas or planets are not really the cause of that it's our own karma that's uh uh you know in a way you can say is speaking through the planets the real cause is our own karma past karma and uh i mean that's how it is uh set to be designed and that's what is reflected in the horoscope so it's a map of our past karma okay so that's number one planets are not the cause for these things but the energies uh that appear in us internally and externally can be interpreted through these planets which are mapped on the horoscope okay so that's the first thing the second thing is uh that some uh planets are said to be malefic some are said to be benefic and then there are various things uh based on positions or combinations people say is a dosha and you know uh, uh something bringing bad uh luck or bad phase in life um to clarify that actually these energies we interpret through planets and nakshatras are neutral it is uh the statistical observation of humans response to such conditions internal and external they, is what is being termed as good and bad because that is how largely most people are responding to such conditions in that way it's our own meaning human meaning based on statistical observation but individually it can vary and the other point is that individually each has the power to respond each has a choice to respond and that power is within every individual okay and uh, this should make it clear because that's how it is like herd mentality people uh largely fall into a specific way of responding because everyone is doing that way uh, one also tends to do that way but there is always a choice one can consciously uh be able to put uh their own uh you know effort their own thinking to be able to respond in a different way and there also is uh uh the background of how they have been trained or brought up in the family and you know there can be other things as well like the support they receive from a family or the resources they have so there are several of these factors involved here which can determine the way one responds to situation to the kind of conditions one exp one feels or that manifest inside and the things that happen to a person outside in terms of events incidents and all that okay so that's the second perspective or second point the first point was which is the cause what is the cause so it's not the planets the second point is uh 
what exactly is good or bad again it's not the planets third point i want to say is on the uh the karma that we see based on these planetary positions of the past karma that's coming to us in terms of the conditions and events in life these also have different types and these can be seen in a horoscope based on how frequently a specific thing is seen like if you have let's say take the marriage if there are multiple indications of an afflict affliction or you know uh, the so called largely seen negative response to it there are multiple indications of it then that's a indicates an indication of some comma which is too strong and the amount of effort needed to do or experience something totally different is going to be huge and most likely that's something one will have to bear through in life okay even that if a person really is getting into deep spirituality and gets into a state of complete acceptance it doesn't really matter at all right and that's where you know if you getting into bhagavad gita uh, these things really che- make us handle anything in life so uh, that's the thought plus point i wanted to bring in the perspective which is that these karmas reflected in the horoscope are of different types some are too strong some are just give enough leeway for us to use free will and change right so uh that's the third thing when one needs to be uh clear about the fourth thing and the the, the last point i want to make here i mean these are the four major things so i don't want to get into any finer details beyond this and the fourth thing is that that all those considered benefic are nothing but uh something which is towards increase towards growth towards spreading and something which malefic is usually something that's constricting limiting or obstructing okay whether it is good or bad is a different question so these are neutral by na- by their own nature these are neutral and it's like you know giving a knife in your hand so it can be put to good use or to bad use either way is possible and another example could be uh say giving you uh, 10 million dollars today so how you put to use to it is uh what will determine if it's good for you or bad for you that's exactly how it is so what happens generally is that uh something that's a benefit to you if afflicted that's a benefit to jupiter is the most benefic planet but if it is weak debilitated or afflicted the tendencies or uh, one might experience is that it uh <clears throat> makes you identify with things brings in ego and hence can lead to something negative in experience also like for example mars which lot gives lots of energy but if it is afflicted that energy changes into aggression or impulsiveness so you see energy is neutral but it can lead to a negative experience or it can lead to a positive experience by itself energy is neutral so where something is afflicted it can become the negative part of that uh by application of that 
energy in a negative way so or as an experience in a negative way and the opposite is for the uh, positive experience from that same energy okay and that's one thing the other is the amount of energy could be varying depending on how the planets uh, for example mars so how, how it's positioned that can vary so that's about this i hope these four things bring uh, good clarity or better clarity in terms of the perspective on uh, astrology thank you